Torkil, you were a member of the so-called Blekingegade gang, a group of Marxist anti-imperialists who, during the 1970s and 80s, did a series of robberies in and around Copenhagen. You sent all the money you got to the national liberation movements in the third world. In 89 you were arrested and thereafter spent several years in prison. Now, 25 years later, you wrote the book The Globale Perspective, in English The Global Perspective. What is it about? Well, it's about uh, imperialism and anti-imperialism, of course. The book is divided into three main parts, history, economy and political praxis. The historic uh, part deals with the history of imperialism, anti-imperialism and the history of the uh, theory of imperialism. History is important. Colonialism in many ways shapes our world uh, even today. The division of the world into rich and poor countries and the racism has its roots in colonialism. The history of anti-imperialism is equal important for the development of new strategies. In the political economical part, I deal with the dramatic changes in global capitalism. In the last decades, millions of new proletarians have been created in the South and included in global capitalism. Up to 80% of the world's industrial workers are now located in the global South. It is no longer a periphery, but the central driver in global capitalism. New forms of the imperialism has developed with this globalization of production. The world is more and more divided into a part which produces and into a part which consumes. Knowledge of how imperialism works is essential for developing an anti-imperialist strategy. However, the political part of the book is the most important. I describe some major social forces both in the South and the North and their policies. Based on that analysis, I try to answer the important question, what can anti-imperialists in our part of the world do? The book's emphasis are on political actors and our strategies. It is a book written by an activist for activists. Global capitalism is heading into a deep structural crisis in the coming decades. So the objective conditions for radical change will be present for better or for worse. The outcome depends on us, the subjective forces. If you had to summarize the book's most important message in a sentence or two, what would you say? First of all, it's necessary to have a global perspective to understand how capitalism works and for the development of an effective anti-imperialist strategy. Second, this strategy must be radical. Reformism cannot uh, solve the social and uh, environmental problems in a global perspective. Therefore, radical social upheaval is becoming the art of the possible.